around 169 million people have Amazon Prime memberships. Here's the reason why most people need an Amazon Prime Visa. Before we get into this card, it's important to note that Chase has an unwritten rule that if you get five cards from any credit card issuer within the last 24 months, your chances of denial are highly increased with Chase credit cards. With that being said, there are data points that say that this rule does not apply to the Amazon Visa because of an agreement between Chase and Amazon. Now I can't confirm or deny, but I do know that there are people that have been approved for the Amazon Visa despite being over the Chase 524 rule. And as for the Chase 524 rule, that rule is trash. It's trash, trash. It's just something that restricts you into getting Chase cars before you get cars from any other issuer. Now back to the Amazon Prime Visa. This car gets you 5% cash back at Amazon.com. Now remember when I said that 169 million people have an Amazon Prime membership? So if you have an Amazon Prime membership and you don't have the Chase Amazon Prime Visa, when you shop on Amazon, you're paying 5% more than the people that do. And why would you wanna do that? Also, when Amazon holds their annual Prime Day, you get 6% cash back at Amazon.com. And right now, they currently have an elevated sign-up bonus. A $200 Amazon gift card upon approval of the Amazon Prime Visa card. So as soon as you are approved, there is a $200 Amazon gift card loaded into your account that you can use instantly. Select items are 10% off when you use your Amazon Prime Visa. And that's on top of the 5% cash back that you get for using the card. Now I know, not everyone shops at Whole Foods, but for the people that do, the Amazon Prime Visa gets you 5% cash back at Whole Foods. So again, if you already shop there, and you don't have the Amazon Prime Visa, you're essentially paying 5% more than the people that do. They have several different designs for the Amazon Prime card. Mine has the Whole Foods design. The card is even metal, because I want you to know if I talk about it, it's most likely from firsthand experience or I've done detailed research on the topic. Chase travel purchases also get 5% cash back. So if you book any travel from the Chase Travel Portal with the Amazon Prime Visa card, you get 5% cash back as well. On top of this, you get 2% cash back at gas stations. And who couldn't use that? 2% cash back at restaurants, 2% cash back on local transit, and then there's 1% cash back on all other purchases. Other perks include purchase protection, travel accident insurance, and roadside dispatch. There's also rental car insurance and bag delay insurance. As for chances of approval, to get approved for the Amazon Prime Visa card, you're most likely gonna have to have a credit score of around 670 because it requires good credit for approval. But as with any credit card, it all depends on your overall credit profile. Now there are people that have been approved for this card with credit scores in the 640s, but I'll say the 670s and higher just to be on the safe side for a higher chance of approval. But as long as your credit profile aligns with what Chase is looking for, you'll be good to go. Now if you have an Amazon Prime membership, I highly recommend this card. But if you don't, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. But if you someone who has the Amazon Prime Visa and no longer wants an Amazon Prime membership, Chase will automatically switch you to the Prime Visa that doesn't require you to have an Amazon Prime membership. But that card still gives you 3% cash back on Amazon.com, on Chase Travel, and at Whole Foods. Then it gives you 2% cash back at gas stations, restaurants, and on local transit and 1% cash back on all other purchases. And you get all of the protections that the Amazon Prime Visa offers. Plus, this card also gets a sign-up bonus. The sign-up bonus for this card is a $100 Amazon gift card upon approval. But then there's also one more Amazon Prime card. 
is the Amazon Prime store card that's offered by Synchrony Bank. Now this isn't a Visa card, so you can only use it on Amazon.com, but it gets you 5% cash back on all Amazon purchases. This card offers 0% financing, has no annual fee, and you can pre-qualify for this card. The sign up bonus for this one is a $60 Amazon gift card upon approval. Another important thing to remember is that the Chase Amazon Prime card is a Visa Signature card. And with a Visa Signature card, the starting credit limit is usually no less than $5,000. And it can be used anywhere that Visa is accepted. But as for the Amazon Prime Store card, it can only be used where? On Amazon.com. Because that card is what? It's exactly what the name of the card says. It's the Amazon Prime Store card. So it can only be used at the Amazon.com Prime Store. Now if I were to recommend any of these cards, it would definitely be the Chase Amazon Prime Visa card. Because I have a hard time recommending store cards because of the limitation of where those cards can be used. Now I'd rather have a card that I can use anywhere opposed to a card that I can only use at one location. But one thing that I forgot to talk about is that we have to use credit responsibly. So take this with you. Whenever you use any type of credit card, if you can't afford it, you cannot afford it. But the ultimate decision is up to you because at the end of the day, this is just my opinion. But remember, my opinion is more important than everyone else's. So if you don't have any of these cards and you shop on Amazon, you are missing out. But if you like this content or was just entertained, hit that thumbs up, share this video, but most importantly, drop a salute emoji in the comment section. And remember, the separation is in the preparation. It's your boy Sledge. Salute. Hey guys, hope you liked that video from one of our guest creators on the 850 Club channel. Don't worry, we got so much more on the way. Be sure to like this video if you like it, share if you want to share it, and be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content well on the way. See you guys on the next video.